on the website, the public voted best of British, so I'm going to do bangs and mash, but a bit of a twist to it, mm. like you said. Um, we've got some wonderful Bramley apples going in the mash, that kind of thing, but also, let's, mm. let's talk about them bangers. Look at this one. That is a whopper. That is a big yeah. banger. That is. is a Cumberland sausage that I'm using today. Right. Um, obviously, you can buy them from the supermarket, mm. from your local butcher, that kind of thing. Pork-based sausage, um, herbs in it, that kind of thing. And uh, basically, cooks through very, very quickly. But what I am going to do is, this is an important little tip. It's a bit like barbecuing randomly. Right, you okay. see this jug? Yeah. We've just soaked some skewers for 10 minutes in water. Okay. Okay, I'm going to grab the skewer. Um, and whack it. So that makes it easier to go it, through? Basically, you'll find, if not, it will untangle itself as it cooks. Oh. Right, and you don't want that. OK, what right. A Catherine wheel. It, basically, yeah, look, holds it all together. OK, Lovely. right, so we've got it together. I've got two skewers in there. OK. Um, I've got a pan on the hob. Touch of oil goes in the pan. And we're just going to, um, basically, sear it off and then bang it in the oven. Thank you. OK, so in that goes there. Right. Get rid of this, like wash my hands. Okay. Oven, preheat 180 degrees. Okay. Okay. And warm it up beforehand. Definitely right. preheat it. Doesn't have to have massive colour, this one at all. You'll see with the uh, non stick pan as well. Don't add any butter, it won't stick. That all kind right. of thing. Okay. okay. So we just uh, flip him over. And as you can see, it's taken a little bit of coloration, yep. but to me, that's good. Otherwise, it'll be too crispy on the outside. Right. In the oven, that goes. Let's turn that heat down. Oh, so that was quick. Nick. So. Takes about 10 minutes to cook it through. Oh, okay. okay. Right, now for the mash element of it, a bit different. Over here, we've got some King Edwards potatoes. You can use Cara, that kind of thing. Okay. Nice mashing potatoes. And I've got one of these things. You could use a masher. Right. This is a potato ricer. The potatoes are cooked for 10 to 12 minutes till just tender. Right. And then what you do is you bang it for a ricer or you mash them up. You dry them out first. And obviously, it's not rocket science, Lorraine. It's mashed potato. But I quite like the ricer. Because it gives it That's nice, good. yeah, nice little. Uh, it's not too lumpy on your mash as well, right. and, and we're easy just, and quick. Exactly, they've been yeah. dried out as well, which is very important, so it's not too wet. Because we're going to add moisture now. Right. What we've got here is Bramley apples. Right. Bramley apples are bang on in trend, in season, mm. and I've used them for absolutely years. I grew up and was surrounded by these things. I love them. Yeah. Anyway, off with the skins, off with the core. Ten minutes in the oven with a splash of water on a tray, and basically it just softens them. Right. But you want that kind of the cooking apple, so you want a bit of a, a, a tartness to it. Yeah. In that goes there into the mash, and we're going to fold it through. Now, another thing here, you could use Dijon. Mm. I'm, like, I'm using this stuff, grain mustard. I love that. Little spoonful of that goes in there as well. With the addition of a touch, a touch of salt, OK? Right. Nothing too much. OK. And a touch of pepper. And then all we do is we just warm it through and we bind it all together. Notice I'm not loading it up with butter nope. and I'm not loading it up with cream at all. See, I could eat that whole pan of that. You, you could, if you wanted to, yes, I could cheat easily. this, though, and buy apple sauce oh, and right. put apple sauce in. Oh, okay. Obviously. I would never do that. No, you would never right. do that. But, no, you're right. You could, if you wanted to, put this into little rings and do it as, like, um, a little no, potato cake. No, just eat the whole thing All right, well, you could just eat out of Gorgeous. the pan, but we'll, we'll do that. I'll save you some of that for later. <laughs> anyway, uh, bangers and mash, onion gravy. Right, yeah. Right, onions, melted onions. You could say, Lorraine, honestly, they've been in a pan with a bit of oil for a couple of minutes, <laughs> right, and we'll it down a bit, right? But all you do is let them soften. Right. OK? The heat I have got on low. Now, I like the sweet and I like the sour. Mm. So my sour, touch of vinegar. Balsamic in this instance, you could use red wine if you wanted to. And then also, for the sweet, a touch of runny honey. Mm. You could use maple as well if you wanted, right. but this is kind of like in your stores. If you haven't got this in your stores, um, just whack in a bit of sugar. It will take longer to dissolve, though. Right. That's, that's just one little point. OK, now, in with a bit of beef stock. We leave that not to boil, just to simmer, just sure. to come together and it creates its own sauce. Just quickly, I'm serving it with seasonal greens and that is a wonderful hispy cabbage, which is one of these things. Yep. OK, and what we do is I'm going to add some thyme to the uh, leaves with a touch of water, a mm. tiny small knob of butter, leave it to cook through. Lorraine, it's all going to come together at the I'm end of the show. Darvin, I can't wait for this. Is that whole sausage for me? Yeah, you can have it all. Excellent.